Now in today's video, we're taking a look at pool tech. We're taking a look at robotic cleaners that are gonna make pool ownership like this a breeze. We're talking about the Scuba S1 Pro from Iper. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now this is the Iper Scuba S1 Pro Coreless Robotic Pool Cleaner. And this is a great robot and I have been owning pools and you can see that we're finally open in the back there. I've been owning pools for now over 20 years. And one of the biggest challenges of owning a pool is the maintenance and the cleaning. Opening is a breeze, you have someone come in, they open it for you, they shock it, you're ready to go. And even maintaining the chlorine levels is a breeze. But when it comes to keeping it clean, boy, that's where some work is needed. Uh, thankfully, something like this, like the Scuba S1 Pro, makes owning a pool super easy. Now, this robot has some real premium features that are gonna transform the way you can enjoy your pool. And I have to say, enjoy your pool because that's the key part that we're talking about here. It basically has two rollers that are going to keep the floor and the walls of your pool clean. And this is really important. As a pool owner, if your walls have dirt or grime on them, that will lead to mold. It will lead to other things that will require more maintenance. So having a robot that has uh, these little rollers here that are constantly scrubbing either the floor, the walls, or your steps is going to reduce your overall maintenance. It also has this feature that's called horizontal water line cleaning. And this is gonna be important because what ends up happening when you have friends over, if you're swimming and you have any hair products, natural skin oil, Basically, the rim of your pool on the side, so if you could see on my pool right there, just where the water line meets, that area, that's where it all accumulates. So this robot comes all the way up to that water line, cleans that off, and is gonna remove 99% of that oil, limestone, and again, algae. And that's a key part that you know is important to me because that's where I have to shock my pool. I either have to use something called algicide to get rid of it, but this guy is keeping it clean for me, and I see myself, like last year, I did not have to do any kind of algicide treatment on my pool because having a robot like this made a difference. Uh, and we had reviewed a previous version of their robot last year. Now, this is gonna be able to clean for 45 minutes at a time, every 48 hours throughout the week. It also has different modes. So it can clean on the bottom, it can clean on the top. It really depends on how you configure it in your type of pool. To give you a, some background, you can see my pool in the background there. That is a salt-based water pool, meaning that I don't drop chlorine into the pool. It basically has a salt water system that creates uh, natural chlorine through the salt. And we use our pool in the Chicago area all the way up to the November timeframe. Yeah, you heard that right, all the way up to the November timeframe because we actually have it heated as well. So this is gonna give us a lot of usage. Now, the cleaning modes, we talked about four. You have a water line mode, you have another mode that's called the auto mode, you have an eco mode, you have a floor mode, and then you have a wall only mode. I typically will run the floor only mode for the most part once I have my season cleaning done and I have no more debris. You're gonna notice when we look at the pool that I'm getting a lot of the uh, flowers coming from my uh, non-bearing, uh, not fruit, non-fruit bearing pear trees. So I have a lot of white, uh, a lot of white leaves that are coming or white flowers that are coming into the pool. So. Um, I'll be running the walls and the floor seating, uh, cleaning mode for at least until the trees have lost all their flowers. Now, you're going to be able to cover 2,150 square feet, 66-foot uh, length pools with this robot, right? So that is up to 180 minutes of cleaning. And, you know, simply a quick charge, up to a four-hour charge is going to cover that for you. So I find that with the fast charging on this thing, uh, I'm able to get going really, really quick. Uh, as far as areas or the type of pools that we're talking about, uh, really it's gonna be anything that is, that is submerged or even above ground pools, right? So you have a lot of options there to choose from when it comes to the utility of this robot. Now, taking a look at the robot, it does look like it's a tank. It does have new mapping technology. And uh, I would say, you know, as it's as scanning and mapping your pool, very similar if you think about, if you have a pool, uh, actually a lawn or a carpet robot where it kind of understands your area and then creates a plan, this guy does the same thing. So here you see that it's tread based, so it's kind of like a tank. You do have sensors throughout. Now mine is uh, a little scratched up because it's been working. This isn't the type of unboxing where you just unbox and start talking about it. I've been running this guy here for now uh, two and a half weeks 
and really putting it through the paces to see how well it cleans. And I have to tell you, I'm really, really satisfied with the robot. Uh, on the side here, you'll see the model. This is the Scuba S1 Pro. On the back here, you're gonna find, this is the charging port, and the charging port does have a rubberized seal in it uh, so that when you plug things in, you're not gonna be risking any kind of short. And you'll notice that the actual plugs are kind of separate, which is really nice. So this is a must to have it plugged in like this. You do have a door here, and then this door is gonna open up and give you access to your debris container. And I have not cleaned mine because I really wanted to show you how well it does. So check this out. So this has been cleaning, um, no joke cleaning and I've actually charged it, I'm gonna put it to clean again. This is everything that's been able to catch. And I have to tell you, this is, this is what's happening daily, right? So I have some dead leaves on my trees. I have you know, some grime and debris, and I'm just gonna scoop this up with my hands so you can see what's capturing. This is what we're talking about, right? If this is left in your pool, in the floor or around your pool, this will basically turn into some nasty stuff that you have to clean a little bit later. Now, this does have a really cool system because as I move this out, it has two filters. Notice this filter right here. Look at how much stuff is in here, right? So it's really taking any kind of debris, sediment, um, stuff that's blown, like it almost looks like it's sand, but it's, this is how good of a job it's doing when it's doing the cleaning. And I have to tell you, I clean this on every run and because of the wind, because of just all the stuff that's going on in the season, this is what I deal with. And the important part is that because the robot is picking it up, I don't have to worry about extensive chemical treatment or maintenance because it's sucking it up and then I can clean it out. All right, so I've cleaned up the actual baskets and you can see what the baskets look like now. So there's still a little bit more I could possibly do, but I just wanted to show you uh, the difference of once you kind of clean this guy up. I'm gonna put everything back together here slap it in place, and really that's the only maintenance you have to do. And as a pool owner, I have to tell you, this is really simple. Everything is all cleaned up, everything is ready to go. All I'm gonna do now is put it back into uh, the robot, close it, let's just make sure we got that guy in all the way. There we go, closes, that's all you have to do. On the bottom, if we take a look at the robot, you'll notice this is everything that's going on here. You have the two rollers here, you have your treads, you have the roller on the back here, and then you have this little sweeping area right here that as a robot it's moving, it makes sure that it holds things so that it could get sucked up in this area. Really, really powerful unit, right? And the fact that it goes up on walls is pretty awesome. Over here, what you'll find is you have all your buttons, right? These are jets that take place. Um, and help keep the robot down. So you'll see it when we start it up bubbling. And then all you'll do is power it up here. Once you power it up, the robot turns on, it connects via Wi-Fi, and there's actually an app. And then you choose your mode, bottom, your top line only. You're gonna do everything right there, um, you know, recycling, and then you have uh, the entire area. Or you gotta press, press and hold, and then this will turn this off. So really, really nice functions. And again, it makes owning a pool super easy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put the robot to work and you're gonna see that it has its cousin. Uh, this is gonna be another robot that we're gonna be reviewing on the channel to really share with you the importance of having a, a top surface robot that is cleaning. This is actually uh, last year's model, but we also have the 2020 uh, five model, the newest one that we saw at CES in the pool as well. So I have them both working because I get a lot of these white uh, flowers in the pool. So I'm actually running two of these guys um, at the same time, which in the next review, you'll be able to see that guy running. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the robot. I'm going to actually have it do the walls as well. We'll go ahead and power it up and we'll put it here in the water. We'll see it go under uh, just in a second. So you can see how it will power up and it'll take care of cleaning everything. Uh, this is, this is what happens in my pool almost every single time we run it. And you saw how dirty it was. Uh, this was clean, but with the wind, uh, and we haven't done our spring cleaning yet, so I could see if we pan up a little bit. You'll notice here on the sides, we still have some leaves from the winter here. We're gonna have this clean this weekend or next. Uh, but what will happen is some of that stuff will fall in the pool. Cool thing is that I don't have to do anything about it. Now, this is the Surfer S1. We have the latest version also on the channel, which I'll bring over here in a second. You actually see the robot 
actually started to run just now. And what I'll do is I'm gonna bring this other robot so that you can see him working in camera. And this robot will be reviewing this week as well. You'll notice right now I have the battle of the robots taking place right there. So I have that guy also running in the pool to help clean things up. This is the newest version. This is the Surfer S2, and we'll see that in the next review. But let's focus now going back on the pool robot. There you see what we're talking about. It's climbing the wall. It's not just climbing the wall, but it's actually scrubbing the wall. And notice how high it's gonna get. It's getting up to the water line, and that is super important because I get a lot of the debris. You notice all those flowers, they get stuck on the water line. Now we've been getting a lot of water uh, because of rain. Uh, so what will happen is I will not have any kind of marks around my pool because the robot is cleaning the water line. And as we look at what's going on on the bottom there, the robot will just continue to map our entire pool. Uh, we haven't warmed up our pool yet. We typically even run the heater in the, uh, in the summer. I like having a certain water temperature. And even though we get great sun out here, I still turn it on just in case so that I can benefit, again, from using our pool, no matter how it is outside. Here you notice the robot is not gonna go up again. And basically it's gonna pattern automatically. It's gonna go through and look at every area of the pool and just do that as it's going through. Now, it, there is an app, and we'll go ahead and bring the app on camera so that you can see it, and we'll see what's going on. Uh, we'll see if, if it's connected via Wi-Fi, and right now it isn't. Uh, my Wi-Fi is a little bit weak over here, but this is what the app would look like, and right now it's telling me that the robot is offline because I actually turned it off, and once I put it in the water, it lost connection. But here what you'd be able to do is you're able to choose your cleaning modes, as you can see here, just like what I did on there. And then you'd see how much battery your robot has. Um, my Wi-Fi is a little bit further away and this is only supporting uh, 2.4 uh, Wi-Fi, not the five. So as it goes underwater at times, I lose connectivity. Uh, you can also see all your robots. So you see I have my Surfer S1 and you can see what my battery level is. And then you see the S2 and what the battery levels are for that robot as well. Um, and we'll, again, we'll go into that robot a little bit later. But here we have this robot going on in action. Firmware updates are also done through the app that way. So pretty much what this robot will do is it will continue to clean all the walls. It's gonna make, it's gonna do, you know, full duty when it comes to my pool. So it's gonna work all these areas and you'll see how it'll continue to work around, all the way around. And then what it will also do is take care of the bottom. And again, you can see why that uh, debris tray was so, so dirty. Highly recommend uh, robots like this, as I mentioned, because of the actual work that you don't have to do. This is definitely a must for me. And what I would say, even though we are not yet gonna review the S2 Pro uh, or the Surface robots like this, these are robots that I also highly recommend. They make that robot's job a lot easier. We're gonna do a full review on the other robot, but this guy right here, having a Surface robot and then having an underwater robot, to me, the combination is a must have. And as you can see, I still use my previous season robot as well, and that was our dog Miko, who's having fun um, as uh, I'm doing my recording. So that's what the robots do, and this is why you need one. So guys, that wraps up our review. If you have a pool, you need a robot. See you in the next video.